Hello guys and welcome to my um, first tutorial regarding Java GUIs. So the first thing you want to do is to import um, the libraries you want. So we want to import Java X dot swing. We also want to import Java out and Java M dot um elements when that is done you can start creating application so we'll start creating our class we will want to extend this to the j frame and implement um the action listener Okay, so when that is done, we can start off creating our um, yeah our main method. Um, we would also want to create um, the action performed method. Um, um, when you click a button, um, the method, this method, will be called, and um, the event will come in the e variable. All right. Um, for convenience, we will also create um, a constructor. So public app step. And we will also want a method named public void create GUI. This is actually to separate um, the, the GUI logic from from all the other other uh, logic. Okay, so in the main method, we want to start a new um, a new instance of this class. So we can do like app stub um, GUI equals new app stub, and we would actually want to. I think we'll do this. Uh, we can create argument here and set title of that. This is the title of the application. Uh, set title is a part of G frame. It's, it's a method in G frame, uh, the abstract class G frame. Okay, so then we will um, calculator. This is just an example. All right, and then we will uh, want to uh, yeah pack it. Uh, the pack method will actually uh, set the size of um, of the go of the GUI, so um, uh, you don't need you don't have to set the size manually. Uh, you will also have a method named set. Uh, it's slow. This helper is annoying. Let's see. Eh. All right. Um. Uh. Set. Set. Visible. True. And yeah. That's it in the main method. And here we want some more information. Uh, we will set, um, let's see, yeah, set default, uh, close operation. Uh, this is so, so when you click on exit, um, the application will actually exit. Um, any more things we want? Let's see, yeah, we want to call, um, 
the great GUI method. Okay, um, so in this, uh, this example I will use border layout for my layout. Uh, you can also use the default layout, uh, like flow layout, but I will use border layout because it's more nice. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's pretty nice. So, uh, you will have to set the layout you're going to use. Um, and in this case, I will use border layout. Uh, border layout is a um, is, um, class in uh, the AWT package. So that's why we're importing AWT. Alright, so now we are actually ready to to apply elements uh, to the GUI. Um, normally I would create uh, the GUI elements here in the in um, in the class variables and not in the method variables. So we will just do this. Um, so say we want um, uh, yeah um, J text area in the top of the application and we will call this info equals new J text area. Mm. Uh, this will calculate your um, yeah whatever it's not and we will create um J uh to recreate mm, yeah J text field um. I'll just call it F1. Uh, new J text field. Um, and you have to write how many columns in uh, in the width it should have. So uh, let's say ten. You can actually I can show you afterwards uh, how that will be. Okay. So and now I will just add these components uh, to the GUI. Um, and the other argument here is actually where it's going to 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 be in the GUI. Um, this will be north. The info, and we can have the the J text field uh, in the center. There are actually five opportunities. It's north. Uh, west, east, center, and south. You can also um, add panels to extend this. So, for example, you can have a panel in north, and then and then you have five opportunities in that panel again. So you have unlimited of opportunities uh, when using bottle layouts. All right. So actually, I will also create a button. Um, New J uh, button and do it, and you will also have to. This is very important. Um, it's very easy to forget, and you will get uh, when you click on a button, you will not. Nothing will happen. So this is very important. Um, add action listener um, to this Shit. okay let's button add action listener this alright okay like so um, then we will add the ba uh, the button um, to the south Border layout is actually very easy to use when you just get used to it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, I can just actually I can run the application now, so you can see how it's how it is. 
So here it is. This will calculate your dot dot dot, and you will see that it's very compact. Um, whoops. And you can see it got a title calculator, um, as we did. And if I resize it, you will see that all the components is nicely placed. This is because we are using bold layouts. Okay, so let's let's uh, look at the action listener here. As you can see, we have a variable class variable up here, and this means that we can use it, uh, use the button, uh, and all other uh, in methods, all our variables in methods. So if we do this, let's see, yeah, uh, if e dot get source equals um, button. This is if we click the button um, because the E event will con contain um, the button um, class, uh, an instance of the button class. Um, and then we can do like, um, um, oh yeah, let's say we want to j option pain show message dialog uh, this is just showing a mes message uh, dialog um, and then we can then we can get from our text field that was f f1 we can get text oh my god slow Okay, get text, yeah. So, right, and then we can run it. So, sh um, yeah, show message dialog. Uh, we can actually say, instead of null, we can say this here. Okay, I will run it, and so you can see, I will write hi there. Keeps do it, and then you get a nice message message um, dialog. Um, I can write something random here, and then you will get the message dialog. So we'll, I will just show you one more thing. It's about the J panels because in this, in you may think that you only have um. You only have three opportunity no five opportunities to add elements in, but that's not the case. Um, okay, say I want two uh, buttons um, on the downer side. Um, so let's see. Um, I will create a new panel there. I'll just call it P1. Uh, P S for south. Um, equals new J panel with no arguments whatsoever. Um, instead of just add, I will add. Actually, I will add them. Um, um, it's to the panel, and I will create just another button here. Uh, btn two equals new J button. Uh, yeah. No, no. Blank it. Yeah, blank. Blank it. Okay. Then I will add the blank button before um, before the other button. So button add button two. Uh, and we um, we have to change this to west. Because this is going on the west end side, uh, this is going on the east. Yeah, and then I will have to add the panel. Note: I will have to add the panel um, to to the main main um, class. So order. Layout um south yeah uh, and then uh okay I will also add an action listener before I run it so you can 
so we can actually get something useful out of um, our blank if a new if here get source yeah equals uh, button 2 which is our blank button and uh, we will want to set set the text of the text field to nothing okay it's now all done we can view our application and you will see there there you go so now we have two buttons uh, on the south side and you can say like if you can see our, my mouse here um, the whole thing around here is a panel and this is west and this is east this is center and this is north but the panel is in the south and uh, not these buttons these are west and east um, okay so let's type something here do it okay and blank it and that didn't work why didn't it I know it okay as I told you in the early start you have to remember to add the action listener for every button you create so I'll add action listener this this yeah 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 and by the way, I just woke up, so that's why I'm quite lazy. Yeah, do it. And blank it. So there you have your first uh, unuseful application. Um, this is not a calculator, and it won't do anything uh, than uh, showing a message. So, yeah. Yeah, that was my first tutorial regarding GUI creating with border layouts um, and and swing. Swing is the yeah, of course, swing is the um, the type of um, GUI we are creating here uh, with swing elements. Um, yeah, so I hope you will follow more of my Java tutorials. More will come. Um, yeah. Alright.